Hey guys, Jay Massey here, and welcome back to the channel. Occasionally, we get really advanced questions from some of our students, and we wanted to share that with you in this particular video, very specifically. You know, like I know, that the best place to get your reservations from, the best place is going to be what are known as direct bookings. Learning to get direct bookings can mean the difference between success or failure, but most importantly, long-term, the health of your business is determined by the percentage of your income that is coming from sources outside of the marketing platforms like Booking.com, Airbnb, HomeAway, and others. So, in this video, we had one of our students ask me about that process, what that looks like, and most importantly, the strategy behind it. So if you want more information like this, please hit that subscribe button and definitely give us a like because it helps us reach more entrepreneurs just like you. Go ahead and enjoy. Uh, any advice on how to get direct bookings? Have had a website for a while. Advertise on Instagram and Facebook. Also, best way to capture visitors from a website from social media sites. Thanks. Okay, Simone, great question. The problem is, is you did it inverted. That's the problem. So here's the, I can give you the, the five minute overview. It's probably gonna take me like that to, to be able to answer this. First of all, uh, and again, I don't know your, net, your, your online marketing history at all. But here's what I know from doing, <laughs> from spending millions of dollars on online advertising um, and running campaigns successfully and having some totally fail. Here's what I know. The uh, internet is in front of a lot of individuals and it takes a lot of money to reach a lot of individuals. Plus it takes a significant amount of money to reach the same individual multiple times. And as humans, you must reach the same individual multiple times before your message is actually heard, let alone understood, and then comprehended so that it might, might be acted upon. So I hope you heard that, right? Because it, there's many phases that you have to go through in that relationship. So. The easier way, the way that we have been doing it and the way that we teach everybody to do it is that we're using uh, special routers uh, that our vendor has provided. He's in the Facebook group, just tag him. Anyway, uh, to be able to capture information uh, from all of our guests and every guest that, attack, that, that actually connects to uh, the Wi-Fi. Uh, said another way, this is the same thing that happens when you go to Starbucks or coffee houses, or anytime you go to a retail store and you ask them, hey, what's your Wi-Fi password? Anyway, they're doing the exact same thing. We're just doing that exact same thing. And from that subset of individuals, well, you then create, depending on which platform you're using, what's known as similar or lookalike audiences. And from there, that narrows down the types of individuals that you're advertising to, and then you begin to be significantly more efficient. This is something you should do long before you even start going to a Facebook or an Instagram, although they, ha they have, again, the best platforms for this. Um, you, you just don't, don't start that way. You would wanna know that first. Now, that's the that. When it comes to direct bookings, it becomes understanding your process and it's about your automations and it's about the system you have set up. For example, how do you have it set up such that do any of your guests who currently have come to you, do they know for in an automated fashion how to book on their own the second time? Do they know that? Are you running any promotions for repeat guests? Do they know that? And if it's not automated, they don't know, period. Um, and let's see, what did I say? Okay, do they, do they know that you accept direct bookings? Do you have it automated and so that they can receive that message? And then more importantly, do you have anyone on your staff who is actively looking for those opportunities in the messages to help create that to happen? 
Now, those are just three of the things. This fourth thing is by far the best thing, and that's why I went over it in the blueprint for sure, is you've got to create situations in which you are invited into companies to get direct bookings. This is one of the biggest purposes of BNI in and of itself. And many people are like, well, I don't want to get up in the morning and I don't want to do any, okay, fine. But what you're missing is direct referrals into some of the companies that you're after and that you're wondering, how can I do it without actually working? You don't, you get up, you hustle, period. And you talk to people, right? Either in the DM or in the AM <laughs> at B&I, <laughs> that's either way it goes. There is no shortcut there because you're trying to build a relationship with an individual of influence uh, through what I like to call centers of influence to make that happen, right? And that this is also why I like medical. I love medical because once you start to get medical people, guess what? Medical people talk to other medical people who then refer you more medical people, which is great. But if you haven't done any of those things, you shouldn't even expect a direct booking. No one knows your website exists. This is why I've said time and again, please, everybody stop trying to make your own website. It is so not important. You can literally get to seven figures and beyond with no direct booking website because it costs so much money to get someone to come to your website and build traffic and traction there. You, but everybody wants to stay focused on it because I don't know. I don't know why. And, and then they start asking, well, what's the best campaign and what's the best this? And I'm like, you're going about it all backwards. That's not how that's not how this is going to work for you unless you just have gobs of money right now. Be focused on expanding your footprint. That is the most important play all of us should be doing because right now is as easy as it's ever going to be in your geographic area to get as many locations as possible. It will get more challenging, yes. But by the time it gets more challenging, you wanna understand your brand identity so well. You wanna have your system so dialed in so that when you are ready to actually drive external traffic to your own website, you can do so cheaper than Airbnb or Booking.com or Travelocity or Expedia.com or Wimdo or Flipkey or TripAdvisor or wherever you're getting your customers from now. Let them spend the money right now. You build the system, you build your brand so that when someone on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter or whatever social media platform you love says, who is the go-to person for Elko, Nevada? I think that's a real place. <laughs> Who is, they say you, you don't, oh, if, if I could drive this home, you'd make more money, you'd keep more money, but you know, it is what it is. So that that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm urging everybody to do because I want everyone here for the long term and you're not gonna be here for the long term. You're just not gonna be here for the long term. <laughs> If you're doing things and having to run so, you have no idea how many experiments it takes on a social media platform to just figure out if, how to get one campaign to ROI and to work. It's so expensive, guys. Anyway, um, hopefully that answers your question. It is what it is. It's, uh, as always, been fun talking to you guys today. We, we thank you for the opportunity to influence you in whatever ways that we've been able to do so. And, um, well... I look forward to talking to you again soon. Till next time.